I have received threats on my life. My girlfriend left me. My father blocked me on Facebook. It is, I'm joking. Let us talk about it. Why I did not like Deadpool versus Wolverine. Let us talk about it. Um, I wish y'all could understand how how many friends I have lost over saying this on Instagram. Um, few reasons why. First thing, I love the first Deadpool movie. I do think the Deadpool 2 was significantly worse than Deadpool 1, but we can skip that. I love Ryan Reynolds' character. My issues with the film was a few things. One, I felt like the baseline plot was very weak. And I'm going to try to do this without giving any spoilers. I felt like the baseline plot of the film was weak. And what I mean by that was the stakes, the consequences for why if Wade didn't do what he did, this would happen. I personally felt like it just wasn't. It's a high stake and this is severe consequence, but I just feel like for how the movie carried, it wasn't something that I didn't feel. I didn't feel the gravity of the situation, if that makes sense. And even when it was explained for how this consequence could be a possibility, it personally didn't make sense. And I'm a man who has watched all these previous Marvel shows that you had on Disney Plus, so I understand the context about the whole time police, or et cetera, et cetera. Remember Time Force from Power Rangers? That was just, okay, let me get back to the, talk about this. So that's the first thing. Second thing was, when you talk about Deadpool's sense of humor, and I love Ryan Reynolds, I think I fell in love with his offensive sense of humor. I personally feel like in this film, he relied on it so much that it became kind of cringe. It almost reminds me of when I watched Thor Love and Thunder. Thor's Chris Hemsworth's sense of humor, and I'm going somewhere with this, was what made us fall in love with Thor and Thor 1 and Avengers and et cetera, et cetera. Like, we were all shocked at how can you be this funny and handsome and tall at the same time? Like, this doesn't make sense. Like, he was funny, right? So, when the producers found out about that, I felt like Thor 3, Ragnarok, and Thor Love and Thunder, they leaned on Chris Hemsworth being goofy and slapstick so much that it made it kind of cringe. And it's odd to feel like it's getting that way with the Deadpool. I felt like in Deadpool, it just got kind of, his sense of humor got kind of cringe. Another thing was I didn't like, and I'm going to try to say this, y'all might not get what I mean by this. I didn't like how it felt like there were two specific moments in this film where I felt like he genuinely killed out of cold blood murder. Now, Deadpool to me has killed a lot of motherfuckers. He's never really came off to me as a cold-blooded killer. I'm killing for the sense of pleasure. He usually came off as somebody who's either doing his job or handling a mission, and y'all are in the way. And in this moment, I just was like, bro, like, this just, like,